Hello everyone, welcome to episode 62 of Talk Wrestling here on every website in the freaking world. Twitter, YouTube, MySpace, uh, Facebook even, I think we're on Facebook now. God, it's crazy. Anyway, we are up to 6,500 subscribers on YouTube. Yay us! We're doing good. We want to get to 10,000 by the end of 2009, so spread the word, spread your legs, spread the mayo, just spread, it, spread us out there, man. Seriously. We want 10,000 subscribers. Only you can help. Only you can prevent forest fires, and only you can get us 10,000 subscribers. So make it happen, all right? Let's get to your questions. Right the bat. Let's do this, baby. Feeling good today. We've taken like nine takes today, but this is going to be the one that counts, I promise. All right, we have another video question. Thank you again for sending these in. We really appreciate it. Uh, we had a good response to the last one. So this is from YohaTube. Check it out. Hey, Meech, this is Mr. EP on uh, YouTube Yoha Tube. Here's my question for you, sir. What do you think of Matthew and those Bunch of Mania videos? I don't know if you've ever watched them before, but they're pretty funny, and a lot of it is Sabu, which is really weird. But I just want to know what your thoughts were and comments on it on the Bunch of Mania, if, if you've watched it or if you haven't watched it. And I like the show Keep It Going. Right. Um. I didn't have the opportunity to see a whole lot of Botchamania stuff. I know we're on it. Thanks to the Sandman. <laughs> Did AJ's Botch promo make it too? AJ's Botch promo? You see? AJ and Sandman get us on the Botchamania. Right on, baby. Yeah. Rob should be on there too because he botched his too. Briefly. But he made up for it with the best promo we ever got. So, there you go. Um, I, you know... I, like I said, I haven't seen a whole lot of Botchamania stuff. I do like botch promos. One of my favorite ones, of course. And I actually saw the the edited version of it on SummerSlam 89 when the when the sign fell behind Gene and he said, Fuck it! That was so funny. I've seen that many times. That's funny. Um, when it wasn't really a botch promo, it was more of a botch like moment, like oh my god moment when Pillman grabbed Bobby by the neck and Bobby screamed, what the fuck? That was funny. Um, we actually talked about that in Extreme Yeah, I listened to the I listened to all the interviews you did with Bobby over the weekend, Aaron, just to edit them out for profanity so I can have them in the portfolio. And uh, he, we actually talked about that. And you know, Pillman Pillman was a great guy, like Bobby said. Just you know, he, he thought it was a mark. He didn't know any better. As far as botch moves, um, when you talk about botch moves, you gotta talk about you know trash cans interrupting my show every freaking week. You gotta talk about that. You gotta talk about the fact that we're gonna get one blooper show out of this entire show. That's awesome. Um, we're gonna talk about. You gotta talk about uh, stuff like uh, the Vic Grimes the New Jack Scaffold match from XPW many 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 moons ago. Where Vic kind of like missed most of the tables and bounced off the ropes a la Owen Hart and almost died. That was crazy. Um, you know, any. A botch is funny. You know, sometimes it can go very awry, it can go very wrong. Sometimes it's funny. So, you know. But most of the time they're pretty funny. The botch promos are always classic. Um, I invite you guys to find on the Nerdy QCW YouTube page the Sandman uh, promo attempts. And the AJ promo attempt, and I think the Rob promo attempt, where he screws up, is not on the YouTube page. But if Aaron has it, I'm sure you can upload it. Dude, I swear to God, it looks like something like Kuthi Kinte wrote from Roots. I swear to God, but I'll try it. Rakuthi Thunder Ninja. Hey, Jeff, what is your overall opinion of the New Generation Heart Foundation? I think it's awesome and should add a new bit of depth to the tag team division. Do you think if Teddy was still with WWE that he would... It would be better seen. It would be better seen as it would actually have a person with the last name. Um, I think if Teddy was still with WWE, he would have been a part of this. I guess called the Heart Trilogy. Is that what they're calling it now? Since there's three of them, um, it would have been a four-person ensemble, if you will. Um, yes, Teddy would be a great addition to this Heart Trilogy, the Heart Foundation team, whatever you want to call them. However, they are going to do just fine on their own. You're going to see uh, TJ. I keep wanting to call him TJ because that's his name, TJ Wilson. Uh, Tyson and uh, 
D.H. Smith. I don't know what they're calling him now. David Hart Smith, I guess. Um, you're going to see them rise in the tag team ranks. You're going to see Natalia go for either women's championship, whichever one she wants, because quite frankly, she is Natalia Neidhart. She'll do what she wants to do. Um, I like that they're finally putting them together. I called that. When did I call that? Right after the draft, didn't I? I as soon as I heard that D.H. Smith is going to, uh, to uh, ECW, I called that. So thank you. Thank you. Barry Horowitz pat on the back. Oh, yeah, baby. Barry Horowitz back. I did that. Anyway, this is from Need Stuff 123. Do you think that Petey Williams will go to WWE or return to TNA? Uh, we talked a lot about Petey right after he got released. Uh, I'll, I'll go over it again. Um, not really a place for Petey in, T in uh, WWE, excuse me. Um, you know, they like, they've always liked the bigger guys, like a John Cena, or a Big Show, or a Batista, or a Triple H. They don't like these little guys. Yeah, Petey's, you know, pumped up like, he, like he's been the last few years, but he's still not a very tall big man. He's just kind of like a little bitty guy. Um, a TNA return, if they want to use him right, by all means, bring him back. Um, but I don't, you know... I, I, I don't see a need for TNA to bring him back. I don't see a need for WWE to bring him in. This is from Low Rob Boy, I guess. That's how you say it, because it's L I L R O B B O Triple I. I'm assuming that's how you say it. What do you think about TNA's new show, Epics? I've never, ever seen it. I hear it's good, uh, but I've never seen it. I have no opinion on it whatsoever. Uh, I. Starting to like Impact a little bit better. I'm starting to teenage starting to grow on me again, but uh, I'll, I'll reserve judgment on Epic till I actually see it. This is from the Mini Ginny. Why don't you think WWE is cashed in on the War Games match yet? Is it because they only have three good ones? Uh, from '87 Great American Bash, '92 Wrestle War, and '96 Fall Brawl. I think with a group like Legacy, they would need two more guys. Versus any good baby faces, five baby faces, stressing the word good in case John Cena hears me. Wow. Uh, it could be an awesome main event for like Survivor Series. What do you think? Um, well, War Games was also done four on four many times. You talked about the 96 Fall Brawl. That was the NWO versus uh, Sting, Luger, uh, Anderson, and Flair. Again, uh, the NWO was represented by Hogan, the NWO, Sting, uh, Hall, and Nash. That was before they added anybody else except the Giant. Um... I'd like to see a War Games match. That'd be cool to see it like Survivor Series, just, just you know, either four on four or five on five, uh, Legacy and two uh, cohorts or one cohort against uh, against four or five dominant babyfaces. And sorry, but John Cena is a dominant babyface. Good or not, he would probably be part of that match. McFly Bender eighty nine. Which team do you think is going to beat the Colognes for the unified tag team titles? I mentioned them earlier, uh, the Hearts, uh, you know, uh, British Bulldogs kid and uh, and Tyson kid, kid kid. <laughs> um, them, uh, you know, you've got them. You've got uh, Kendrick and whichever partner he's gonna find. That, that that's a big tease that Kendrick's gonna find a partner and win the tag titles. Um, you've got. Who else is a tag team? I don't think there's any tag teams left. God, they broke all of them up on the freaking draft. Um, yeah, I'd say the Hearts or Kendrick and the mystery partner. That, that, that's what I think. This is from the Wrestling Addict. With the upcoming Macho Madness DVD coming out soon, do you think it would be a possibility for the WWE to see Macho Man do an appearance or be inducted in next year's Hall of Fame? Um, possibly. I don't know what the status of WWE's relationship with Randy Savage is right now. I know they're putting out the DVD, so you know maybe they're sending the Olive Branch out to him. I don't know, but uh, I don't see why they would want to bring him in for an appearance. Hall of Fame, maybe, but not for an actual TV appearance. That's kind of Randy Savage looks like crap. Uh, he's got white hair, a white beard. He, you know, he, he's not the Macho Man anymore at all. Um, bringing him in for an appearance for the Hall of Fame is one thing, because the Hall of Fame guys are old. But, uh, you know, except Reddy Guerrero, God bless him. Um, but for a TV appearance, no, probably not. This is Nico the Unique. What do you think about Samoa Joe's new gimmick, and who do you think is his mentor mentioned on TNAWrestling.com? 
I think it's an access bus coming. That's what I think the mentor is. Um, well, he wears a towel over his head now. He's a very violent person now. He attacks people left and right, just randomly, and he, he wrestles more submission than he ever did. Uh, it's got to be Taz with one Z. Taz with one or. I don't even I don't even call him Taz or not because Taz with two Z's is WWE's property. Taz with one Z belongs to Warner Brothers. Is it going to be Peter Sinertia? Is that what they're going to call him now? God, how lame is that? Um, I believe it's him. Uh, that, that's what everybody's pointing to anyway. Um, hard to say though, but I, I I do like the gimmick despite what you know people people in my house in the in the undisclosed location back here. I just blew my cover. It is my house. Damn it, I blew my cover. Don't fill the numbers here, whatever you do. Um, anyway, um, I, I, I like the new gimmick. I don't like flies being on me, though. God, I hate being outside. Uh, I, I like the new I, I don't like the tattoo, the, 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 the drawn-on tattoo. That's kind of lame. I like the gimmick, the Nation of Violence overall. I like that he's not really affiliated with anybody anymore, which is cool. Because, you know, him and AJ probably have a feud. That'll be interesting. This is from Randy Orton Kelly. My question is, do you think that Bobby Lashley will be pushed to a teeny heavyweight title reign since he is still fighting in MMA and is in total non-dedication to the company? Do you think he will not wrestle as much due to injuries? Um, he seems like he's doing pretty good to me, injuries or not. He's kicking ass in MMA. He's like either 2-0 and or 3-0, and and he's been dominant. He's whooped everybody's ass. He's doing better than Brock ever did, and you know, Brock's getting his ass kicked pretty soon when Frank Mir tears him apart for the UFC championship. Um, Bobby Lashley will probably be appearing here and there for TNA. I don't think he'll be a full-time player because of his MMA commitment right now. But, uh, you know, you never say never in wrestling. Like they always tell me, like I've always told you guys, never say never um, in this business because you can see Bobby Lashley be a world champion. Hey, Big Foy's world champion right now. I never expected that. So, we'll see. This is from Roger Meyer Jr. What do you think about the idea of Ric Flair wrestling again? Oh, I'm pissed. Oh, I'm so mad about that. You know what? It, it was one thing when Hogan went in the Hall of Fame and he came back and did a couple matches. But with Flair, he promised us, he promised the world that that would be his last match if he lost. And he lost to Shawn Michaels. Yes, it was gimmick. Yes, it was storyline. But you know what? I believe this one. You know, to Terry Funk, I never believed he retire. Hogan, never believed he retire. Any of those guys. But Flair said it'd be his last match, and for him to go back on that takes away the 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 special feeling of last year's WrestleMania for me. Because other than that, that WrestleMania was kind of crap, just like this year's WrestleMania. And you know how I feel about this year's WrestleMania. Last year's WrestleMania, yes, I was there live, so it made it more special. But other than the live feeling of, wow, I'm here for Ric Flair's last match ever. Oh, my God. Nothing really special stands out other than being with my dad, obviously. That was cool. But, uh, yeah, it takes away the whole special feeling of WrestleMania 24 and being a part of Ric Flair's last match and being there for his goodbye and everything like that. That takes that away from me, and that fucking pisses me off. It really does. So if he wrestles again, I'm going to be very upset. Very upset. Thank you all very much for sticking with us through this crazy episode. I know you saw a lot of stuff. I know you didn't see a lot of stuff, too, but we'll get the bloopers up for this show very, very soon. Um, it was nuts. Uh, just, it was very much a clusterfuck of the taping, so thank you for sticking with us. The following plugs are brought to you by NoDQ.com. MySpace.com slash NoDQTalkWrestling. MySpace.com slash Aaron Rift if you want to get a hold of Aaron. MySpace.com slash Jeff Meacham if you want to get a hold of me personally, just otherwise to get to me on the Talk Wrestling page. Uh, YouTube.com slash NoDQCAW. Uh, Twitter.com slash no DQ D O T C O M, the actual words no DQ dot com. Uh, and Aaron's on Facebook. I don't know the website, just find him on my Facebook page, which is uh, just look me up under Jeff Meacham. Aaron's on, he's, he's one of my very few friends on there, um, as far as the wrestling friends. Everybody else is a friend from high school, so uh, you're better off going on Twitter though, because Twitter you can find Aaron very easily. And uh, yeah. So anyway, that's it for 62. Check us out for 63. 
And uh, hopefully we'll do better next time. If, if, if you like this episode, my name is Jeff Meacham, and you're watching Talk Wrestling. If you didn't like this episode, my name is Geek Squad, and you're watching XTV. Good night.